Welcome to section 5, adding products to the cart. In this video we are going to create our cart button component. So we are going to make some small changes here. So we can see in the app we have this debug banner. We are going to go to main and just remove this. And this can be done in the material app by just setting the debug show check mode banner to false. I will also start using double shift to navigate through the pages. And here we have the home page. And what we're going to do is start by creating our component. So inside these actions, we're going to put our component. And this will be called something like cart button. So let's start by making this cart button. So here we have our cart button, which is a stateless widget. So if we go back to the home page now, we can see that we can implement the cart button. So we won't be able to see anything as it's an empty container. And we will start by getting the block from the last section. And we can start designing our button. So what this is going to look like is just a simple cart. And on top of that cart, we're going to have a circle of a number, which is the amount of items we have in the cart. So to do this, we're going to use a stack. And with a stack, we can simply lay children on top of it. So there we go, there we have our cart button. Uh, right now we can't actually press it. So let's make it pressable so we can navigate to the cart page. So here we have our navigation, so if we say this, we can see that we navigate to the cart page. So now after this icon button, we can start by making our circled positioned widget. So with this position widget, we can easily put the child widget where we want it to be. So with this, we simply put it at the top right of the cart. So for the red circle, we can simply use a circle avatar. So there we have our red circle. So for the child of this, we're actually going to use the stream builder so we can push out the amount of items we have from the cart. So we're specifying the stream builder to be of type int and then we're using the stream to have the out count. So right now we have the stream builder which pushes out a text. We can't actually see it right now, but it says null. And this is because we don't have any initial value for this stream. If we set initial data to zero, and we restart the app, we can see that the cart now says zero. So what we can do now is actually reusing this widget in multiple pages. For example, inside here, we want to have a cart also. So let's copy this that we have added in the home page and go to the selected category page. And now we can see that we have our app bar. We can simply add this and this should make our cart be here also. And we can navigate to the cart.